guys, it's Garolini and welcome to Inner Beauty Out. And today I just wanted to take the time and talk about a product review that has been very, very popular amongst the makeup community as well as on YouTube because it actually stemmed from YouTube. Poor old Nikki Tutorials. You know, you just do one thing and we all just follow. <laughs> But um, I am an avid follower of Nikki Tutorials. I follow her on um, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, anywhere that she kind of speaks, even Twitter. So, um, I'm always looking at, you know, other artists and trying to see what I can incorporate in my own um, te in terms of techniques and things of that nature and seeing what I can take away, you know, and how, and how I can just be a better artist. And it's important to just learn it's not about copying, it's really just about making um, finding your own method to things and working things out and working certain products. There's no way that one person can completely emulate or copy someone 100%. So you just have to be open to trying new things and that's why I you know, follow a lot of many artists because they offer inspiration and they offer great new products that you may not be aware of. So um, I just want to kind of bring forward a topic that, well not a topic, a product that she's used or she's mentioned and I'm sure you probably have heard about it once or twice but I just want to bring it up on my channel. So the product that I'm talking about and I was really a little nervous about this because I just wasn't actually too sure. I've heard the rave. Um, this is when I first watched the video. This is before a lot of people started using it. Um, and I was watching her video and she was talking about how this was a great um, precursor, <laughs> so to speak, to putting your makeup on. So it was a good base, is what I'm trying to say. And it is none other than the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Yes, I am talking about a male grooming product. <laughs> and it smells like a man, which I don't mind. It smells pretty good, actually. Um, I really don't mind that, and it doesn't stay on with the scent um, when you put it on but basically this balm is what people would normally men would normally use post shaving um, just to be able to you know kind of prevent any irritations and things like that or whatever just kind of soothing the skin um, but for me um, and what Nikki Tutorial had initially um, suggested this is as a primer now she suggested this, this product as a primer um, only because um, she felt like there's, yeah, there's glycerin in this in this product that makes makeup adhere to it. So it's a better formula to be able to have the makeup stick to. Um, and so basically, in terms of it sticking to that, it helps the makeup to kind of stay on for a very longer period of time. So um, I was just like, okay, I'm definitely willing to try it out because there was a time and point where, you know, I don't really know if you guys remember, um, Milk of Magnesia being a big thing in the community and how it just helps those who are oily skin and this is what this is supposed to be like too. So it's supposed to help those who have oily skin um, and giving them um, you know a more mattified application um, and having something to stick to and last longer throughout the day. Now I've tried this. I enjoy it. I don't know if you can even tell where mine is. I had this bottle about since last year and my product is like literally right here. Now I bought this in a pack of three because it was just a bigger, a better deal for me. So if you're out in the market to try it, go on Amazon. I just feel like it's a better buy um, versus buying one to be like, I think it may be like six to eight bucks or so. Um, and I think I was able to get three for like 12 if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they're like glass bottles literally um, and their packaging I didn't think it was gonna be this much product it's really 3.3 fluid ounces in here um, it has a no drying alcohol in here um, and basically how I personally use this is before I do anything um, in terms of my face after cleansing of course um, before applying anything else I go in with the Nivea balm so I do this but I do not use this in terms of a primer to me this is not a strong enough primer for how much of a grease ball that I am. I just like using this because I feel like it is a skin smoother. And when I say skin smoother, it um, makes the skin a little bit more supple where then when you apply the foundation onto it, it's just like the whole, in terms of the glycerin, it just makes it for a better application. And so that's why I felt like um, 
I'm gonna keep using this. I've used this on clients and they love the smell. They have no idea what it is. Um, and so I don't necessarily say anything unless they ask about it. But um, I just find that this gives a better overall application. So if you haven't tried this yet, definitely go ahead and try it out if you're interested in looking for something that is more of a skin smoother and if you're not that much of an oily person then this is a great primer for you this would be a great base I'm not negating the fact that this could be used as a primer but if you're like oily like I mean oil slick like you can fry things on your face like you take no effort to sweat I don't think this would be the only thing that you would have to use so if you're like me more than likely you'll cleanse your face you'll use this and then you'll apply your actual primer and then you know your setting spray blah 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 and go on with your method and that's pretty much what I do so I just wanted to go and just share this take the time and just share this with you because I thought it was an awesome product and um, speaking from a person of color I just wanted to kind of give my perspective on it and let you guys know what I thought about it um, if you haven't tried this I don't know if this is comparable to the little Nivea creams that they have out there but um, I know that for me, like what this does, you put it on, it's a very like um, light texture, it doesn't feel heavy at all. We want to work this into the skin because initially it'll just be like, okay, I'm putting some kind of cream or whatever in my face, um, some kind of liquid. I won't even say cream, it's like more liquidy than anything. Um, but once you start working and it starts drying, it gets a little bit tacky and sticky, and that's when you know you're ready to go on to your next step. So I would suggest definitely trying this out if you haven't, um, you know, what do you have to lose? It's less than 20 bucks, it's less than 15 bucks, it's less than 10 bucks I want to say. <laughs> so um, just try it out. This is for the sensitive skin. I have not broken out for, from this um, particular formula. So um, yeah, and it's supposed to kind of improve skin's defense over time. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know this. If you want to see a product or you hear about a product that you want to hear me do a review on, definitely that information below. I would love to review it. Uh, thank you for watching. Definitely give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, um, and I'll see you in my next video.